Last week we learned a real simple method for writing direct formulas if we have an arithmetic sequence, meaning if we're counting by the same amount from one term to the next, then our direct formula will be that count times a variable plus something. And the something is what number comes before the first number. What is the zeroth term? So in this case, it would be 10. 8f plus 10 builds this sequence. For example, 8 times 7, 56, plus 10 is 66. 8 times 10, 80, plus 10 is 90. We can find any term in the entire sequence. What happens if I'm missing a lot of information? What if I only have fragments, parts of an arithmetic sequence? Can I still write a direct formula? Yes, I can. Arithmetic sequences work in such a way that each move I make, I'm counting by the same amount. So in this case, I'm making four equal counts to get from the third figure to the seventh figure. 7 minus 3 is 4 counts. The total distance that I'm traveling to get from 28 to 80 is 80 minus 28, 52. So my total distance is 52, and I'm, and I'm making that, I'm traveling that 52 in 4 equal counts. Okay, so what am I counting by each time? I'm going to take this 52 and I'm going to divide by those counts to get 13. All right, and that means in this sequence, each time we're counting by 13. So let's see if it works. 28 plus 13 is 41. 41 plus 13 is 54. 54 plus 13 is 67. 67 plus 13 is 80. Okay, that works. Plus 13 each time. Now, my direct formula from last week is going to be 13 times the figure number plus something. There's a couple different ways I can figure out that something. One way is now that I know I'm counting by 13s, I can count backwards by 13s till I get down to figure number zero. Sometimes that's not convenient, so I'm going to show a different way first, and then we'll check with that method. I want... I want figure number 7 in my formula to give me an answer of 80. So I want 13 times 7 plus something to give me 80. Now I can just do the mathematics of, uh, of this situation. You, you've, this is a really a one-step equation. 13 times 7 is 91 plus I don't know equals 80. What is that I don't know? All right, that I don't know it has to be negative 11. 91 minus 11 is 80. So here's my formula. 13f plus negative 11. Now I can check this with the other point I know. 13 times 3 is 39, minus 11 is 28. Cool. I could also check this by counting backwards to figure number 0. 28 minus 13 is 40. 15, 15 minus 13 is 2, 2 minus 13 is negative 11. All right, situation. Somebody's measuring the growth of a plant week after week, or at certain, at certain intervals, they're measuring the growth of the plant, and if we know that this is an arithmetic sequence, that we're, that we're growing by the same amount each week, can we find a formula and then use that formula to predict the height of the plant after one year? 52 weeks. I'm going to pick two data points. Now, it actually doesn't matter which ones we choose for arithmetic sequences. So let's say I choose 8 and 13, 8th week and the 13th week. We are going, that's a five-week interval. Over a five-week interval, the plant grows 1.25 inches. So my first question is going to be, how much is the plant growing in one week? 1.25 divided by 5, you're going to get 
0 0.25 inches per week. Let me let me let me also show you though that I could have chosen different different positions and if we truly have an arithmetic sequence we should come out with the same rate of growth no matter what. So let's say I noticed that 2.25 minus 0.25, that's a nice, this is a this is two inch growth. I don't want to deal with the decimals. Now I have just a whole number, okay? Two inches growth in how many weeks? Eight weeks. From five to 13 is eight weeks. Now, two inches divided by eight weeks equals check it with a calculator you're gonna get the same thing 0 0.25 0 0.25 inches per week any two points I pick in this chart any two positions I pick in this chart I'm gonna end up with that same growth rate direct formula 0 0.25 X or maybe we can say W 0 0.25 W plus something equals the height and the hardest part with this is finding that something now if you remember what we did from the other situation is we just grabbed one position and I'm gonna take this position 8 1 so I don't have to deal with the decimals in the eighth week I want this plant to be one inch tall so I'm gonna say 0 0.25 times 8 plus something equals one inch tall. All right, and now I just need to do the mathematics. Eight times 0.25 is two plus something equals one. That something is negative one. All right, back to my variable formula. 0.25w plus negative one equals h. I'm gonna double check that it works with another another piece of this make sure that I'm correct 0.25 times 19 is 16 would be 4.75 minus 1 3.75 alright so this formula works with my table now I can use it with 52 weeks to find this answer 0.25 times 52 is 13 minus 1 12 we expect this plant to be a foot tall 12 inches tall after one year we're gonna try one more of these from start to finish step one I want to pick two rows any two rows say I pick the last two positions how many steps am I taking to get from 42 to 65 that's 23 steps what distance am I traveling to get from 265 to 403? That's 403 minus 265, 138. Moving 138 using 23 steps, I'm going to divide that. The change of my output divided by the change of my inputs. Each step that I take is a step of six. Now I'm going to take that number, same as I did before. If each step is six, then six times my input plus something needs to give me my output. All right, so that's first moves. Second moves, figuring out what this blank is. I'm going to pick any position that I that I know both the input and the output. So let's take this guy. I'm going to use this formula with those numbers. Input 15. Output 103. 6 times 15 is 90. I need to add 13 to that to get 103. That means my adjustment for this formula is going to be plus 13. That's a direct formula. 6 times the input plus 13 equals the output. 
Again, if I'm not sure, I can always double check with any other position. 6 times 65 is 390, plus 13 is 403. Works with this one. 6 times 42 is 252, plus 13 is 265. Works with this one. I can use it to find my, my green answer. 6 times 28 plus 13 equals 181. And then my last piece, a little bit tougher to do this in the reverse direction, 6 times some number that I don't know plus 13 needs to equal an output of 1. Alright, but that's a two-step equation you should be able to do. Subtract 13 from both sides, divide by 6 on both sides, and you get your answer. If I input negative 2, I get an output of 1. 6 times negative 2 plus 13 is 1.